Hey, Whoa. we've been going for a while. I know. Gone. Been hard at it at work, and but uh, we got a little good permission today. We're out here at a old home site. the The owner dates it back to probably the 1700s. So we're gonna try this out here. We got a, a new metal detector. Shout out to Jesse DeHart. It's a Garrett AT Pro. We're running. We're not, we're running it on pro mode, a pro custom mode. We have our iron discrimination on forty. We're we're still trying to play around with it, so. But we got a good little signal here. I'll, I'll let you listen to it. It's reading in the eighties. I don't know. Probably might be junk, but we'll try it. We'll let you know what we find here in a second. It's right there. Oh. A square nail. Yep. Okay, so we actually have like 300 acres to look for. There's more. In here. There's more. What is oh, that? It's a spoon. Oh my God, Ryan. <laughs> I, I knew there was a good oh sound in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the owner just told us that there oh used to be a, an old 1700s home here. So that right there. Oh my gosh. That dates it. That's one of square the coolest nail things. And a pewter spoon. And wow. it's really crazy because and that's it actually in really good condition. I've never seen. Wonder one if that the other condition. ends in there. Like it the might end. be. We're we're gonna dig around here some more. Wow. <laughs> I don't think this house was very big, just the way the yeah. Because we're on like a flat of a hill. We're on a knoll. And uh, it, I don't think it was a very big house just by the looks of it. I don't know. There's there's a weird flat spot over here too. I'd yeah, like to check right out. Right there. Maybe there was a shed or something. But wow, you we're, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna dig around some more. We'll let you know what we find. I'm doing a lot of dig. I'll hold this. Yeah, I got it. Nah. <laughs> That's a heavy one. You want to use the metal detector first? Mm -hmm. Move the GoPro. Got it. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Casing. Check it just in case, but. There's a little blip of something in there. Something might. Got a little squeaker here. It's reading in the 80s. And it starts to pour. Hopefully, it ain't a pool tab. Got a ring. It's a pretty view though. I think we're gonna be uh, drenched by the end of this one. Should we go up to the truck? <laughs> that was a horseshoe. Wait a second, Ryan. Before you go any farther. No, you're good, keep going. This thing's getting soaking wet. It's waterproof though, so. Just don't know if you guys can see. Yep, we're going to the truck after this one. <laughs> oh. Mm. I don't know, but it looks old. <laughs> it's, it's heavy. I know. It might be brass. It feels like it, don't it? Yeah. Feel how heavy that is. What, what's it Check read? it. That's definitely what we heard. All right, it's in my hand. Uh -huh. Oh. Huh? Is it big? That, that ain't what we were hearing, though. I don't think. It was reading too good to be that. Yeah, something else is still in there. Ouch. They're going plants with the spikes on them. <laughs> Another one. 
There's got to be di something different in there. Maybe. We definitely found the location of the house, though. Well, we might have just found a slew of freaking nails, but oh well. Something's still in there. 66. That's not a nail. What you reading? Oh, there's a squeak. We'll let you know here in a second what we find. Maybe we should dig out more of the hole with the big one. I'm going to. Just be easy going down. So we don't split whatever it is. Sorry if I just threw dirt all over the camera. I think so. Oh. No, piece of a pile. Oh, it is? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Positive. Oh. That's crazy, though. We just found square nails underneath. So you I'll know tell you what, old. though. I think that's an old plow. Well, yeah. Maybe. It doesn't look hand forged or anything, though. Is that red paint? <laughs> no. no. That's rust. All right, but I was still hearing something in the 80s here. Though. And why was there square nails on top of this? Well, it probably plowed them up. That should pop it up. Oh, oh no way. Check that out. Door hinge. Is that what it is? It's some kind of hinge. Wow, that's old. That's definitely old. Look how big. Maybe this might have been the front door right here. Or the back door, maybe. I'd say the back, because I'd want that view. <laughs> that's cool. It is. Let's check the hole and make sure. Is it on? We're going to do a live dig for you. Sounds pretty good. Of course, every time we do a live dig for you, it's junk. But... Oh, there's something. Probably a rock. I try not to get my hoops up too high. That's a big uh, something. I see it. It's either a rock or a big piece of iron. <gasps> That's a plow of uh, axe head. Yep. Oh, Check sweet. It That's where the handle was. I wonder what kind that is. I don't know. We'll have to look state. at it. We'll look later. We'll show you when we get the hole dug. All right, we just popped the plug. Right there it lays. It looks like another piece to it. Or that's, is that the bottom that's of That's the latch. Where they would hit the, the latch, maybe. I don't know. I thought it had to do something with an iron. That iron. Or it was another piece of the hinge. The door hinge. Another door hinge or something. Look at that. Check at this. Make sure there's nothing left. No. Nope. That's what it was. What's up? Mm. Rock. <laughs> Look at like a square nail. Okay. Hit it with the metal detector. That's so cool looking. It's so thin. What's? I know, but. From the 1700s. But I'm saying it's still he like in one piece. I think this has something to do with maybe like the latch or something. Look, that even so that cool. this part here still moves. Oh my god. It's not even rusted shut yet. Yeah. Everything here is like really well preserved for the age of it. It's wow. awesome. I already see it. Oh my gosh. What is all this? Plow? No. Plows don't have a hole in them like that. Foundation rock. Look, that's square. Oh. That ain't part of it. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. So we just got this out of a hole. Ready to pump the plug? Yep. <clears throat> I see it. Where? Right there. Where? Oh, it's... no way. What? Wow. Be careful you don't break that off. Look how, oh. I hope I didn't bend. I don't think, because it, it looks. No, that's really bent. 
say plow did that. Is there a design on the end? I want to see the inside. Look at that. Check that out. Wow. Look, that looks fancy, don't I it? I know, that's what I'll say. Is there a design on the end? Don't, think. No. don't rub it too hard. Guys, that is so cool. <laughs> that's our second spoon today. Wow. All right, guys, so we're back. It's been a long evening. Uh, of course, you've seen it rained. We, uh, yeah, we got soaked. And then it got super humid out. And we've already had a long day to begin with, so we figured we'd call it quits and uh, we'd try it again. But the uh, the landowner also showed us some, some new places we could go we found a grave for the 1750s so I'm really interested in that place I feel like there should be a home place somewhere close to it but um yeah we got some really good spots to go but I want to get and show you guys what all we got here today's finds this is one of my favorite that is a awesome axe head I mean look at that thing and it, it, it is very heavy, very heavy. Um, of course, you know my favorite, square nails. They're so good at finding them things for some reason. Washers. That is some kind of square nail. I'm sure you can see it on camera, I hope. Sorry if you can't. And then, um, this one kind of tells a story a little bit, I think. So we found these all really close to each other. Okay, uh, let's see if you can see. This looks like it was something to a door. And the reason I wanna say that, I'm sorry, I'm putting my fingers in front of the camera. We found this. All of these, like, this was already in there. was actually in this hole whenever we found it just like that um, this is an old door hinge another piece of this metal all this metal is the same and maybe a door latch or something this what's kind of crazy is like it's been in the ground this long and this piece right here still moves Usually they rust together and just never. But I got a question for you guys. What is this? It's really heavy. Feels like brass. Um, I can't really remember what it read on the metal detector. But I'm really interested in that. It almost looks like it was like a, to a butt of a gun or something. Pretty neat piece. If you know what that is, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. My favorite fawn was this spoon. This spoon is like super heavy. Got a hummingbird. I don't know if you could hear it. Um, yeah, that is awesome. Has a really cool design. And then on the, the actual spoon part of it, I know it's hard to tell because it's bent, but it's got this real well, there's just a lot of detail on it. Definitely was not at a poor home. And then this this spoon looks like uh, some old farmer or something maybe. This is definitely old, but looks like he was just got mad because his spoon broke and he just threw it out in the field. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This was actually at the home site too. Some cookware, and some modern, modern tractor parts. Nothing too exciting there, but this is definitely my favorite find. And the axe head, I really enjoy that axe head. That was awesome. And then I really want to know what that is. I want to know if it's old or if I'm just wasting my time with it because. 
I don't know if it's old or not because I mean it looks very very well made but if you know let me know all right guys that's a wrap I'm going to bed nice